back to the B5 farm. Thanks for joining us today. This is Mackenzie. She's Hi. our oldest daughter. She's going to help us propagate some roses today. I went back to work and got this pretty bouquet of flowers and we noticed that there's three roses in it so we're going to try to follow some Pinterest instructions and make them into bushes that we can plant here at the house. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, we're going to take three containers. These are just cheap containers um, we had out in the garage. You can tell that there's plenty of <laughs> there's plenty of drainage. Um, so what we're going to do is use copy filters to put at the bottom so we don't have a dirt mess everywhere. So let's put them in there. You want to do that one? Good. Okay, and then we're going to fill the bottom with a little dirt. Good old Oklahoma red dirt. No short supply of red dirt up here. We have too many. Too much red dirt. Too much. Our dog's nose is red. Yeah, they call him Rudolph or call her Rudolph. Yeah, we call her Rudolph, her nose doggy. <laughs> so, Kenzie, what's your favorite part so far about living on the farm? Uh, I like that we have two big ponds and we can run around and uh, we have a bigger house and um, I have a lock on my door. So <laughs> <laughs> my brother and sister. Okay, so now that we kind of have our pots ready to go, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using potatoes to help give the stems some nutrients. So, Kinsey is going to cut the potatoes in half very carefully. Good. She already moved, removed all the eyes off of the potatoes. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take a screwdriver or a knife or something and make a hole that the stem is going to fit down in. Okay. Don't stab yourself. Okay, and you just want to stick it in. Oh, sorry. First of all, 
Cinnamon. Cinnamon. So you want to dip the end that you're going to put in the potato into cinnamon. Cinnamon has antibacterial properties and it's going to help make sure that your plant does not develop a fungus. Is the olive in there? Uh, yeah, let me see. Oh, stop. Yep, that's good. Okay. Okay, so dip that one. Try that one. kids love to help do all the things. I made brownies yesterday. She made brownies yesterday. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so you can't live in the farm or in the country and worry about dirt. dirt. Otherwise, you got to move back to the city. You got to move back to the city. I made like Banana muffins and brownies, like, so I made the banana muffins first in a day, and then I made the other brownies the next day, and, um, we're already out of both. You're a good cook. Maybe Kenzie will start her own cooking channel. No. <laughs> Maybe. I don't Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to keep these in a 
warm sunny window until um, we're going to probably keep them in until probably around Easter um, because Oklahoma is known for late freezes. So we're going to give these guys the best chance at survival. And so then what they say after this is to not directly plant them into the ground. You're supposed to plant them into a 12 inch pot, pot which we'll probably plant them into something like this next. So. Okay, I think that's it. You want to sign off? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss another video. Bye.